here we are at Mrs. Davis, who was a teacher at Yorkshire School in Fairview. Uh, Mrs. Davis, do you want to tell us when you were there at Yorkshire? I was there from 1953 until 1969. Very, very nice. Uh, could you tell us about your experience there teaching at Yorkshire? Well, I started out, uh, I spent 11 years in the sixth grade, and then I was fortunate enough to move down to the fourth grade, and I had all my children were wonderful children, but the best class that anyone could ever ask for was my fourth grade class in 1967 and 68. They are outstanding as far as I'm concerned. They had the biggest heart of any class I've ever seen. They, even as a class by itself, they just were so big hearted that uh, we were writing to the fellows in Vietnam. And when we were writing to the fellows in Vietnam, um, one of the little girl's cousin was killed in action and we had been writing to him. And the children couldn't send flowers and they didn't know what to do. We talked it over and they decided to send a tape and the first GI that goes to Japan or Hawaii or whatever for R&R &R would take the tape. And he made copies, lots and lots of copies. And uh, he wrote down everything that was on the tape. And the children said what they wanted to say. And then uh, the fellows read what was said on the tape. And uh, they, you know, when the uh, thing came back, there was the same number of people, of fellows in the platoon as we had in the classroom. And the classroom took the name, they had sent us the name of everybody in the platoon. And they started writing to their individual pen pals. And that's, we, we always sent to everybody that we knew that was in the service. But when Glenn was killed and we had gone through all of this, then we were fortunate enough to have Lieutenant Moffat as the lieutenant for the platoon. And between he and the, uh, the sergeant, platoon sergeant, they managed to just be wonderful. And it was exciting to get the letters. So every month they would send packages. The first month that they sent a package was 66 pounds of homemade cookies. And everything had to be blessed before it went into the mail. And um, I was not Catholic, and I would take it over to St. John of Our Priest, and I, every shipment we sent had to be blessed. And the priest even told me that I wasn't a member of his um, congregation, but he saw more of me than he had some of his own people in the congregation. <laughs> 